the days when the Corolla was considered the standard, alas, are passing. According to the International Rating of Car Reliability TUV, over the past 10 years, Corolla from the top 10 has retreated to the end of the 20 and even the beginning of the third 10. Globalization, unification and other modern diseases of the automotive industry are forcing manufacturers to save. Yes, and competitors got their hands on it. How the same Koreans grew up. In a word, complaints about the 11th generation of the car, E170, on the web are no less common than for the previous model E150, which was pulled down by a robot hated by many, now, fortunately, sunk into oblivion. Indeed, since 2012, in addition to the generally reliable mechanics, the multi-drive S variator has settled under the hood of the model. Zaki Donov, like his predecessor, the so-called multimodal, multi-mode MMT box at the robot is not found here, except for the feature, hover firmly after slipping for a few seconds. But it's not a breakdown. The Russian Corollas were offered three gasoline engines, one in RV, 1,329 cubic centimeters, 99 horsepower, one ZRV, 1,598 cubic centimeters, 122 horsepower, and two ZRV, 1,798 cubic centimeters, 140 horsepower. To them, in fact, there are no complaints. As they say, Japanese remains Japanese. Unless there are complaints about a regular cold start. But it was rather a problem with cars with manual gearboxes. The clutch is not fully depressed during startup, and its adjustment is not provided here. The body is welded from galvanized, but thin steel, and here the ecology intervened again. The primer and paint are now water-based, which noticeably distinguishes the current corrosion resistance from the past, reinforced concrete. In our case, the red makes its way out in a uniform layer through micro cracks. Today, it does not cause much trouble, since it resembles a certain soot coating from the road and is easily removed at the sink. So I wash the car more often, otherwise scratches and chips quickly appear on the body, especially along the bottom edge of the doors. We recommend to treat deep wounds immediately with special equipment and in winter treat the body with protective polishes or liquid wax. There were negative changes in the cabin. Aesthetically, perhaps, he added, but clearly lost in quality factor. Owners complain about upholstery gaps that provoke the appearance of crickets. The instrument panel visor is noisy, as is the panel itself. You can hear some kind of life in the ceiling light. By the way, condensate can accumulate there, which then flows under the skin. The lowered window panes also refuse to be silent. It is difficult to make serious claims on the chassis, although, bearing in mind the past merits of the Corolla suspension, which survived even in our regions for many years, its margin of safety has noticeably decreased. For the first time, attention was drawn to the front suspension already at 40,000 kilometers, struts and bushings of stabilizers. Although the Japanese installed a reinforced suspension in Russian cars, it is already good to intervene in the rear chassis after 100,000 kilometers when it was necessary to change the shock absorbers, 5,000 rubles each. Silent blocks can last twice as long. Not bad is the case with the onboard electrician. But this is only in the southern regions. She can hardly bear the cold. It happens that the battery dies, the electric mirrors, door locks fail. In a word, Corolla remains a desirable and strong car, but now only in comparison with current competitors. And its main trump card, liquidity, it has not yet lost. And thank you to Progress, thanks to which now all used cars have to be driven to a service for diagnostics before buy. Transmission. The transmission does not bother with delicate operation. In cars with a manual gearbox, clutch pedal creak is not uncommon. The assembly needs lubrication. The clutch takes care of 90 to 150,000 kilometers. Depending on the manner of management, the replacement cost is about 20,000 rubles. It is surprisingly difficult to find negative about the multi-drive S variator on the web. In the instruction manual, it is listed as maintenance-free, but we know that this does not happen. Engine. Motorists see the 1.6 engine as the most resourceful, which runs 350,000 kilometers or more without repair. All engines have a timing chain drive, designed for a mileage of 250,000 kilometers with diagnostics for 150,000 knots, replacing the timing drive will cost about 20,000 rubles with spare parts. Among the minor troubles, there are oil leaks from under the valve cover gasket after 100,000 kilometers, 
as well as from the front crankshaft oil seal or from under the pan gasket. Suspension. The first to 40,000 kilometers in the chassis will be asked to replace the strut and bushing of the front stabilizer, about 6,000 rubles per circle. After 70,000 kilometers, worn out support bearings of the struts will creak, 2,500 each. Shock absorbers, around 6,500 rubles, run for 100. And for ball bearings, 2,000 each, the service life is twice as long, they are strong. The rear suspension will remind of itself only after 100,000 kilometers. Body. Sometimes the doors and trunk close with effort. Water easily penetrates inside the doors, glass seals are not provided, and freezes there, completely or partially blocking the mechanisms of locks or power windows. In frosts, the cable for remote opening of the trunk lid also freezes. The situation is not pleasant, you can open, but no longer close. In addition, it happens that the trunk lid opens right on the go. Electric. Some note the short resource of airflow sensors, 1,200 rubles, and coolant temperature sensors, 500 rubles, which serve an average of only 60,000 kilometers. But the vagaries of the side rear view mirrors, when in the cold after washing they forget the correct position and fold forward, have already been noted by many. Returning them to their place is not for everyone, 